Hey everyone, uh, don't be jealous, but today I went to a uh, very fancy store. It's called Walmart. So while I was there, I decided I would check out the knife section. Now, they sometimes don't have the best of the best there, but um, I have picked up a couple of knives that I really like there. A couple of more CRKT knives. So I went there and see, to see what they have, and uh, previously I had picked up the... Um, the Minimalist Cleaver and uh, the Spew, they were both about $20. Really like them both. Excellent fixed blade knives. I think they're made well. Excellent value. So today I noticed there was a knife that was kind of flipped over. I couldn't tell what it was. I looked at it and it was the, as you can tell, the uh, M16-01KS designed by Kit Carson. Frame lock, stainless steel handles, and corrosion resistant coating. What's not to love? Now, <clears throat> flip the back around, and uh, I'll just leave that just so you can maybe pause if you're interested. You can, you can read it a little bit. And then as far as the specs go, um, blade length 3.06 inches, uh, plain edge, 8CR14 MOV, not necessarily a super steel, but it'll get the job done. EDP finish, which I'm not familiar with, uh, 0.10 inch uh, blade thickness. Uh, closed 4 inches, open 7.13 inches, weight 2.6 ounces, handle material is stainless steel, and folding knife with frame lock. So, I've heard excellent things about uh, the M16, so I picked one up. <clears throat> well, I know that there's a lot of um, variations among the M16. Some of the sizes are a little different, uh, the blade shapes. Uh, the blade steels, the handles, the locks. So I know there's a lot of um, a lot of variation there. Uh, and I figured that if it was kind of on one of these cards at Walmart, it might not be one of the top ones. I'm smart like that. I went to public school. So I figured it wouldn't be one of the best ones. But I said, you know what? It's been around for a while. It has quite a following. So I'm going to give it a try. So I picked it up. It was $20. I'm not impressed, to, to kind of call it what it is. You know, I was telling my wife, I'm not really impressed with this knife. And she said, well, you know, you buy these expensive knives, and then you get one for $20 at Walmart. What do you expect? I expect a decent knife. Especially, I mean, it's made by a pretty decent company, and it's a tried-and-true model from a good designer. Um, I'm just not real impressed with it at all. And like I told her, I said, I bought my CRKT cleaver there, like it quite a bit. I bought my CRKT spew there, like it quite a bit. And uh, over the years, I've picked up a few Kershaws there. And, you know, they were cheaper than this. And I, I thought that they performed better, to be honest with you. So let's go over a few things. Uh, like I like I had read to you, this is a just over a 3-inch blade. I do like the blade profile of it. Looks like it's a flat grind. And again, it has that coating. I'm not familiar with the specific type of coating it has. Um, but that doesn't mean too much because I'm not the all-knowing when it comes to coating. Slot head screw on the pivot, which is kind of odd. Um, then it looks like we have some Torx screws there. I think it may be like T6 or something there. Okay. Then uh, this is set up for tip-down carry. Can't reverse it, can't change the location of it. And then it has the flipper here, which is kind of, uh, the way it acts as a guard is pretty nice. I like that. And you can see the blade markings right there. Uh, M16-01KS, Carson Design. It doesn't mark the steel there. I guess they don't want to brag that it's 8CR14 MOV. I wonder why. As far as the uh, clip goes, uh, it has a little more... Um, give than a lot of clips I have, but it's not a bad clip by any means. It's okay. Uh, this one is, uh, they said it's stainless steel handles. Um, some of the ones I've seen have, uh, have like Zytel handles with stainless steel liners, but they say this is steel. Uh, and it has a frame lock, as you can tell. And we have some, uh, some jimping on the, uh, on the flipper. Now, it didn't mention if it's on bearings or if it has washers. And if it does have washers, are they nylon? Are they bronze? Are they 
some rusted material they got in the backyard. I don't know, but <clears throat> I have opened and closed this and flipped it and flipped it probably three, four, five hundred times, thinking, well, it's a little rough out of the package, but it'll break in. Hmm. You know, it, I actually think it's it's uh, kind of gotten worse. Oh, almost made it. Almost. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, this is um, not the best. Now, I could probably play around with that pivot and um, maybe oil it a little bit, but uh, it's not really doing much. Now, we have that, and we have my Civivi that I don't really use that often, and opens right up. Now, yeah, I know, it's a heavy blade. It's got a little more momentum behind it. True points, true points. Oh, look at that. A little shake, and it goes right back in. This one, even, even under halfway open, just kind of doesn't. Well, let's see if it cuts. You can see if it cuts. I'm so taken aback by, by like the opening and closing. And you know what? The thumb studs. I mean, forget forget like flicking this thing open. Forget like getting the thumb studs and like kind of like you can't even do it. It's, it's no way you're going to do it. You'll slice your thumb. You can't do it. It's just it's such crappy action. You just can't. But then even if you're just going to use it like a regular thumb stud, it's like it kind of fights you. It's, it's kind of amazing. Um, as far as the handle goes, I think it's a cool handle shape, and I think if it was a larger handle, it would be decent. My problem, and I don't say this is a problem with the knife, I just say it's because of a difference in types of hands. You know, my finger goes here, and another finger goes here, and then another finger goes here, and then if I try to fit four fingers, I got this kind of poking in my pinky. So it really makes sense that it's kind of just a large three-finger knife. And then the pinky's flying off in the nowhere land. And like I said, you got the guard. So the guard is nice. Of course, you want to choke up a little bit. It's not really a place to. So you got the guard there. Uh, you have some jimping. They were stingy with the jimping. You have just a little bit here. It's a very, very fine jimping. And it's kind of recessed to the same level as the uh, the handle. So this it's almost like it's not there because it's so shallow and so fine and so almost set in to the handle, to the uh, the knife scales, it's like it's not even jimped. And I also don't know why the blade is wider up here, and yet they chose to stop the jimping rather than going all the way up that extra, you know, third of an inch. Not even a third of an inch, a quarter of an inch. I don't understand it. I think it would have um, made it a little bit better, but now it's kind of slidey here. Again, not that this jimping does much, because it's actually almost like semi-recessed. But... As they say, it is what it is. So let's try a cutting test. Now, I, this is the first thing I'm trying to cut with this, so wish me luck. Ah, oh, it's got a nice edge on it. Okay, so you know what? I will give it an I will give it an A for edge right out of the box. So I guess you know the biggest thing that it does is it cuts, and it cuts pretty well. Now, the HCR14 MOV, as we know, it's it's not going to set the world on fire. It has a Rockwell hardness of uh, 59 to 60, I believe it said. <clears throat> I mean, it'll do the job. And like I said, the sharpness I'm actually impressed with, because after I saw how it's opening and closing, I was figuring it was going to like tear the paper or something, kind of like one of the knives did in one of my last reviews on it. But it's not too bad. So I think what I'm going to do is when I'm done with this video, I am probably going to um, take this apart, put a little bit of oil around the pivot, work it through a little bit, and see if I can make an adjustment here. Maybe a mild adjustment and it'll, it'll work its way out. So hopefully that works it works out because I do like the look of it. And uh, like I said, I like the blade shape. You know, and you know, I kind of laugh at the HCR14 MOV. Um, but on the bright side, and I'm not even saying this to be a jerk, but if it, when it does wear down, eh, it could probably strap it back to life in about three minutes. So it's not that big a deal. So uh, would I recommend this for twenty dollars? Honestly, I, I'm, right now I'd say no. That might be subject to change, and I might kind of 
promote it to an eh, if it responds to a little bit of like oil on the pivot and and then maybe an adjustment i mean that might make me kind of be like so so on it but uh, if you happen to be in walmart and you need a 20 dollars knife i would absolutely go with the spew or um, one of the minimalist uh, when they have the minimalist for 20 dollars, pick them up you will like them they are just well done uh, the spew is fantastic spew has got a three inch blade so it's about this length very comfortable handle uh, I believe it's my Carter too. Very nice. Uh, I would actually recommend those way over this. The only thing this has going for it is that it folds. But then again, fixed blades are pretty cool too. Anyway, take it for what it's worth. Uh, thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. If you like the video, please hit the thumbs up and I will talk to you later.